Um, so can you tell us a little bit about Logan in this film and if we'll see a different side of the character? Oh, yeah. I, I think the whole film feels different in tone, character-wise, than any of the others. And that was sort of our goal. I didn't want it to feel like the final chapter of a saga, but a whole fresh new thing, stake some new ground. And Logan in this film is more human, hence the title. Uh, he's sick. He's healing. His powers are dwindling. He's vulnerable. He's also looking after an aging father figure in Charles Xavier and hiding him out. He's under stress. He doesn't have money. He's a limo driver trying to earn enough bucks to buy the, to get by, to buy the meds that Charles needs. And there's some very sort of mundane, very normal, everyday kind of stuff going on. But clearly he's checked out. He's at the bottom. And so what James Mangold and Scott Frank did is kind of create a world of someone whose biggest fear is love and intimacy, because um, that only brings pain, of surrounding him with a family forced upon him.